dreaming of embarking on exciting travel adventures with your furry friend by your side? Our next guest says planning a trip with a canine companion can sometimes feel chaotic, but today lifestyle expert and the new Barker contributor Anastasia Turchetta is here to help us unleash the possibilities with key tips to keep calm and get your tail Wagon on. Thank you for helping me get in so many dog puns in there. <laughs> that was Thank good. You, for, you did great. Thank too. you. You Thank did you. very good on she that. She gave me the challenge with the script, and I'm like, yes, I will work in the dad puns. You did. Thank you. You exceeded the expectations. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about getting your dog ready for travel because a lot goes into this. This is not a last minute decision. It's really not. And you know, I think it's something that if we all think about it, it's just going to make the experience awesome. There we are. We'll just keep it going, right? You know, uh, things to pack or essential items to consider, if you prepare ahead of time, it's so much easier. So something like, you know, vaccination records, we've discussed that before, ID, make sure if your pet is microchipped that you just double check on that, that, you know, where is it? Is it active? Where does the address follow you back to? Um, you know, of course, food, travel, like, you know, water bowls, that type of things. But look ahead of time, what activities are you going to do with your pet on this vacation or where you're traveling. So for example, are you hiking? Are you gonna walk on hot surfaces? What's the weather like? So maybe you wanna pack dog booties, cooling vests, or maybe a life jacket. Yeah, and will there be a peacock there? And there, what happens? You know, I Did mean, you ever figure out why the peacock crossed the street? I did not. <laughs> uh, it was rough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it was rough. The other thing to think about is when you're, you know, when you're looking is what if you, because you, you know, your family's big, what if you guys want to go do a family function? Mm -hmm. And what do you do with Marble then? So, you know, with Gibbs, what do you, what can we do? Maybe you could look at a doggy daycare and that way, you know, look ahead so your dog isn't sitting in the motel room the whole time that you're there. You know what I mean? And, and uncared for. This way it's just easier to plan ahead. And if you need help, you know, with medications and stuff like that, Make sure you call your vet ahead of time. Get that all in a bag, almost like your own suitcase, but your pet's got his own suitcase. I like that. Yeah. You know, we went to the aquarium one time in Atlanta, and I found a cool dog spa. Yes. You know, and where we were able to take, it, it wasn't Marble, it was her, before Marble, Dolce, but Dolce got her hair done. She got to play with other dogs. So you're right, if you just plan ahead, and I sent all my documents ahead of time so they knew that she was yes. up on all her immunizations and all the things. So you can plan activities for your pet too. Absolutely. And then, you know, the other thing to do is like, once you have the suitcase packed, so to speak, once you get in the car, some dogs like to be in a crate. If they're not used to a crate or a dog seatbelt, make sure you practice that ahead of time. Again, it's just mm -hmm. types of preparation that we don't feel because we just like, oh, hey, we're excited. But you know, when dogs are out of their routine, it's stressful for them. And we want this to be you know, stress-free and everybody's having a good time. So you're saying uh, creating a soothing environment for your your pet to travel. Absolutely. So that could be something, whether it's something that they like, maybe it's a crate in, you know, in your car for safety, you know, because we want our dogs to be safe, safe and healthy. It could be a dog seatbelt. Um, Gibbs can get car sick. So if you think about it ahead of time, we usually like to hit the road in the morning. Mm -hmm. So just pack his, pack the food ahead of time. Don't feed them. And then just wait and, you know, while you take your pit stops, your potty breaks, so to speak, then just give them like little treats along the way because they're, you know, their bellies get unsettled too. Mm -hmm. If you need something more, then always contact your vet again and get the medication ahead of time so we know that your travel will be smooth and plan around rush hour. Yeah, because you can, in fact, you know, like you said, get something that maybe helps them sleep or not feel so anxious, medication that they might not typically be on, but they could just for the trip itself. Absolutely, absolutely. And then finally, you want to make sure that wherever you're going to go, whatever environment you're going in, that you do the research. So like, for instance, for the peacock, I mean, it's so funny because we just take, for example, you know, for, for granted uh, the environments that we're going in. So I would really suggest training your dog. So we have the words leave it, stay. You know, they're just simple, you know, training for your dog. But when you take your dog to another environment, they know. So when the, you know, when the peacock crossed in front of us, we were able to mm -hmm. say leave it, and he knew to leave it. And that just made it so much easier. So another thing is when you go into a restaurant, then make sure that you ask for a table that's got shade and that it's also in, you know, maybe in the corner because not everybody wants to be around dogs, that's you know, true. and some of these things. So these were taken at the uh, the Fountain of Youth in St. Augustine, which we all drink yeah. out of. Can oh, you tell? Oh, wow, that's great. You guys look so <laughs> young. <We're getting> <laughs>
<laughs> and vibrant and all the things. All right, Anastasia, it's great seeing you. Thank you so much. Thank you much. for having us.